why you should be a fan of FlyQuest this year. Reason number one. Impact. Isn't Impact like a boomer? Like, I'm pretty sure his hands have fallen off by now. Impact may be a boomer, but he's been a boomer in the top lane since season three, and he's still gonna be the rock that the top lane needs. Just look at the tape. Nicely done with the cancel there is Impact. Oh, oh the tower back into the turret and he's already down. But now they're in trouble. Santorin's gone. Hans is gone. Wismo and Bjergsen trying to get away. Vulcan's got their clothes. He's oh. got the feet. Over the wall. Form of life creeps. Triple kill for Impact. Core JJ. He'll make it a quadra. Straight to the next turret angle. There it is. Plus, have you seen these guns? I'm pretty sure he has to have hands to hold these. Oh. All right, next up, reason number two. Spica. Spica did not look good last year though. Couldn't have Fly gotten someone else? If by not look good, you mean was still arguably the best player on TSM last year, then sure, he did not look good. But for reassurance, he's still an ex-MVP jungler who's still pulling stuff off like this last year. Here next, double kill back over to Fudge. Flaver stays alive. He keeps on tagging. Shut down over to Summit. Tactical is down. Just away from Cloud9 getting buried, but Spika kills two with his aim, and he splits him for three. But keeping him pinned against the wall. Oh! They got three. Nicely done from Spika there, taking out the enemy mid laner. Now he turns what? right back on a berserker. Got him. He throws up the white flag. He don't care. Huh. I mean, okay. All right, now we've got all of our concerns out of the way. On to reason number three. Vikla. Who? What, what do you mean, who? This man was one of the fastest rising stars in the LCK last year. He, he just won the LCK Rookie of the Year. Just, just, just watch the tape. The bailout, but it doesn't quite work there. Aiming's able to help pick one up, though, for Vikla. Kingen goes down next to death. He just doesn't have the damage right now. Life's going to get healed. Chain life is fantastic. It connects. Oh, oh my, my God. God. This young mid laner, there's a reason he got Rookie of the Year. I, uh, I stand corrected. Anyway, on to reason number four. What? No complaints? Nope. Prince is good. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I mean... I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the tape anyway, but yeah. Going to get in with Curse of the Sad Mommy. Empress Divine oh. comes through as well from both, but Toby makes his way out. Roller 3 8 gets it. It's a double kill for Prince, though, as Closer is able to chase out Roller. Prince picks up another, flashes forward. That's the Quadra kill. Last, but certainly not least, we have Ayla. Ew, an academy support? Is he even gonna be good enough to support Prince, like, let alone the rest of the team? I'll have you know, Ayla was one of the most mechanically gifted supports in the academy league last year, and he did a magnificent job of replacing Core JJ when he was going through his green card issues. Do you really think he won't be able to hold his weight? Chris just really trying to maximize the bomb, but they're Oh, nice hook! Good hook into Zap, into a ton of damage, and Berserker will die for the second time! Blank is coming oh. around, here's the execution. Oh, Bradley couldn't get over, still going on to Chad. Chad runs low, Audacious Charge onto Bradley. Oh, gets yeah. all of them! It's the hostile takeover from Ayla! <clears throat> yes, um, well. That concludes today's lecture. Reminder that next class's lecture will be going over parental issues, so make sure to go tell your 100 Thieves friends.